now you are on YouTube or you will be when I uh, when I load you. Um, I'm going to start by saying a few things about myself. I'm uh, I'm Chad Kurdi, registered engineer in the state of Minnesota, a master electrician. So I know technology a little bit. Uh, 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 I love technology. Um, I've been at Dunwoody for 13 years. Six of them, I was the head of the electrical department, the director. So this year, I stepped down because I love technology and I want to focus on doing a lot of technology stuff. Um, you guys are all on LinkedIn, so I've done a lot of stuff. Um, mainly, my career is design hospitals and sport arenas and, and government buildings and what's not. When they say design, doing the power, lighting, low voltage using Revit and CAT. That's what I've done. Um, currently, for the last 13 years, I've been teaching electrical design at Dunway. So we take buildings and we put the electrical system in it, and the lighting system and low voltage systems. So that's what I do. So I invite you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn. That's the first thing I use to connect with our industry, but you guys are not here for that. Um, Google, everything that you do on YouTube goes into your Google account. You do not want to connect your employer's email to your YouTube channel. Never. It drives you nuts. So you need to Google. This is a Google uh, Gmail. And all my, you see, all this is through YouTube comes into a separate email that I can filter it when I have time. And I'm a father of three young kids. Believe me, time is scarce sometimes. So that's another thing I use. Um, lately, we, we are done with the, this is Facebook. I don't use Facebook a lot except our construction department started a group, closed group. And we do all our presentation, we put them uh, here and we invite all our industry. So that's another engaging of your alumni, your students, uh, your colleagues, and the electrical industry seeing what we're doing. So what you're, what you're seeing is we did, uh, that's March 26th on Wednesday, we did the presentation, we invited our industry, so we have a lot of pictures here. But that's not, that's another component that, uh, that I use. Uh, yeah, Twitter, and please, uh, I apologize for something uh, inappropriate here. So this, uh, I use a lot of Twitter too, to tweet uh, what we do. So that's another engaging technology with your industry and what's not. So you'll see a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm uh, I'm an apprentice trainer too. Uh, outside then we do apprenticeship training. So this is called Minnesota Electrical Association. And what we do is we use WebEx for the last eight, seven years. These are live, uh, synchronous WebEx classes with two cameras in my basement looking at me recorded electrical apprenticeship. So they do three hours once a week for 26 weeks and then they have online on the on the job training with their employers. So that's another technology so you can consider uh, but that has nothing to do with YouTube either. So I just thought to share and these all you can see all these are the recorded session my sessions each one of them is three hours. So I'm used to being recorded Vegetative and all this good stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna move this one. Oops, move it right here. All right, I have a few. Um, the whole recording business comes with uh, our smart board. For the last four years, I have not used a marker. I use a smart board. What the nice thing about smart board when you do lecture, I know my handwriting is not the best, but I'm an engineer and electrician, so you can excuse me for that one. Um, you can PDF this one, give it to your students, share it with anybody you want, and you can record it and put it on YouTube for my students. That's what I do with these. So this, uh, the way I record the smart recording that you saw come with our Dunwoody. It starts right here. This little button here comes with, if you're a smart board, you can do that at any time. Nobody have to watch you. Um, so you can click on that little button here and you start recording. So just tell you what, where all these came from. Um, I want to start with why we do this. So this is uh, Dan Dickinson, and I told him I'm going to be doing uh, this. So he said, uh, and I asked him to say something because he's the one who inspired me to do YouTube and start my YouTube channel with this massive amount of knowledge. So I'm going to let him say it just a few seconds here. I don't know if you guys Hi, can hear him. I'm Dan Dickinson, also known as DJ. I was uh, a student here from 2009 to 2011 in the EC. DM program at Dunwoody with Jack Curdy. Um, I, uh, I'm so going to start right here and we'll go over into the presentation. Um, this is what you guys are coming here to, to see it. Um, like I said, the difference between what you have seen, let me just talk a little bit about the classes that I do. All these are videos on YouTube, what you're looking at. Uh, at Dunwoody, my main job is uh, teach electrical design. These are the classes that I do. 
So we basically take three projects, one 5,000 square foot apartment building and one uh, 12,000 square, square foot commercial uh, building, office building, and a 25,000 square foot industrial manufacturing building. And we, des we design a complete functional electrical power system for it and lighting system and low voltage fire alarm security for Nadir. That's what I do basically. And I have, I teach one whole year. Uh, these are all the classes that I do for Dunwoody. I'm also very engaged in the electrical construction industry because I'm an, in, I'm a, I'm an electrician. So we run uh, that apprenticeship for an entity called Amenia. Yeah? So we, I do um, fourth year apprenticeship classes. These are what I showed you in WebEx. These are completely via WebEx online. The nice thing about these apprenticeships, so you guys can, can consider that one is uh, in Minnesota, um, you can have kids from all over the state listening to you so they don't have to come to one location and it's live you test them it's organized so they look at you and you see them so these are classes that i do for the apprenticeship and because i'm not uh, i'm not um, busy enough i do electrical training um i'm an expert in the ndc code book so i do a lot of training electrical code i'm sure some of you guys are electricians so uh, since 2005, 8, 11, and 14, I've been doing all these updates, good updates, so for both MEA and for Minnesota Electrical Association. So we do a lot of stuff, safety, electrical design. So I do a lot of stuff. All these are recorded and on YouTube. <laughs> so um, massive amount of information. Um, so I'm going to, here's what you're going to be looking when you come to my YouTube channel. Each one of these pictures is a presentation. The way I go, for example, this was done, you can see the date, 3 14 That's very fresh. Um, so that's a fire pump and circuit breaker adjustable. If you are uh, if you are uh, an electrical, you probably know that adjustable circuit breakers. And this is a test number four, T4, is test number four review. So when I review for my test, the test with my students, I put the review online for them. It's so all about the students and the alumni. The whole idea, as you saw with uh, with uh, Dan, is for the students, uh, mainly started with for our students and alumni. So we engage them. Uh, that's a picture from the YouTube. This is Dan. Like I said, he was the inspiration for me starting my YouTube channel. I'm an older guy, I'm not a younger generation. So I believe me, I, when I started using a uh, smart board at Dunwoody, I did not like it four years ago. I really did not. So I. Uh, so um, because of his disability and he needs a lot of help, more than I can do. So and him and I and, and Rusty, another gentleman with the name Rusty, also non-traditional students, we got together and we, we, we discovered the smart board. Believe it or not, it was there. We didn't know about it. I don't know how many of our Dunwoody colleagues know that you can even record from this. So that's, he was my inspiration. You have seen him. Um, uh, what's the whole channel since then when we started the whole channel is um this is kind of the about why we have this channel share electrical engineering and construction technical skills and knowledge with people from all over the globe and you're going to see it is from all over the globe end up being really really interesting situation the start was to help my own students and my own alumni um, so they can review the technical stuff and we do we go through 12 different softwares in my program a lot of software work a lot of lectures a lot of code all of them are recorded you can review them as many times as you want uh, we don't charge you there's no charge nothing anybody anywhere in the world can uh, can do them so and then um, because of the whole global uh, so i think somebody was talking about the mooc is that the um what's mooc again massive open uh, massive open online classes right you were talking about this one so i think i'm almost there so it's completely open for all the all the people the nice thing about also putting your stuff you're exposed there is no editing what you, when you made a mistake you own up to it people know what you do they know what you know and what you don't know and uh, it was kind of scary at the beginning for all of us because really you're really exposed um, and believe me for my colleagues who are teaching it's the most um, interesting experience you learn a lot from your own mistakes i have a lot of good bad and ugly feedback and i'm thankful for all so i got so that's uh, the second one um a few things about the youtube channel like i said all these are you i don't know if you guys are familiar with youtube um one little thing about YouTube that probably, I don't know uh, if, if you did that one or not. My um, videos are long. <laughs> so what you, it's a lecture. So I can go, uh, my, the average is 45 minutes. 
I have the longest video that I did um, for MBA training. It was four hours and 50 minutes. Four hours and 50 minutes. That doesn't mean you talk for four hours and 50 minutes. You stop, you know, you take every hour, you take a break, but you stop the recording and you keep going. So the longest video you're going to see here is four hours and 50 minutes. It's a lot of hours. Um, <laughs> Um, the, 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 this recording is um, window, uh, it uses the technology of window uh, movie maker or um, yeah, it's a WMV, window um, movie uh, or making video, something like it, it's um, the nice thing about this four hours, for example, if you do four hours of videotaping, it will be literally 20 times more in terms of data, by, uh, the bytes than if you use this technology. It doesn't take a lot of volume. So they don't limit you. I, they have not gotten back to me on this technology and limit me on the amount. The size is very, very small. I think it's one twentieth of what if you have. If you do an hour videotaping versus an hour what I'm doing right now, it's one twentieth in terms of size though with this technology. Right. Did, did you? Okay, so you knew you were going to put up a ton of videos. Did you create your own channel first, or did you just start with Good. Long Good point. I um when that started, I approached our Dunwoody um in marketing and I told them my idea and they said, Well, we have to filter it and we have to be there and take pictures and I you know, we have to have a budget, you know, you know how the whole thing. And I really there's budget, they have sit in your class and take all these videos. It's a lot of coordination, a lot of time, a lot of money. Um, then when I when I approach our Dunwoody to put these online too on uh, their own YouTube, it's too long and not filtered. You know, we, we, as a college, we want to put everything perfect. You know, um, so when all these and I want to put them to help our students, so I created my own. So that's kind of the, summarize the whole why it's my own channel. Um, they just don't. We, our Dunwoody want to uh, rightfully so. They want to put things that you know looks the best. Um, this is not meant to be the best. This is what happened in your class when you teach, right? You make mistake, you erase. Some student might curse in the corner. Um, real life, <laughs> really is real life what's happening in a classroom. Um, right now we have 623 videos. Just to give you an idea, not to brag, my colleagues at Dunwoody, this is uh, three times more than all of our Dunwoody videos right now. Um, the amount of videos that we have. <laughs> The whole college, um, and I'm saying that not to brag, really, just to encourage people to jump in because that I think that's the future. I have close to 1,400 hours. I did. I looked at our YouTube channel at Dunwood. I don't know about other colleges. This is 1,400 hours is literally 20 times more than time-wise, more than we have all of Dunwood put together, hour-wise, time, time. Um, so again, I'm not bragging. I have close to 3,000 uh, subscribers. A subscriber is a person committed from all over the world to watching it. We don't charge you any, in any way, shape, or form, of course. Um, almost uh, half a million views from, this is all technical, remember, technical electrical. So the people who are interested in this are either engineers or electricians. They're not, you know, so you don't get a lot of millions of billions of hits because either you're an engineer, electrical engineer in particular, or electrician to watch these. So a few statistics here I thought to share with you. Then I, I wanted to show you, since we have uh, different states, um, then it gets the self-satisfaction. Um, I have, I believe this channel have touched the life of every, not the, touched every state in the union. So I don't know if you guys go, did you see that when you go to the statistics, this is YouTube channel US views. These are all the views from all the United States of America, all the states. You can see, look at your state and how many people and the percentage of the views from all from the overall views <clears throat> you can see the most of the people who watch this channel are from california our great state of minnesota are right in here so um i don't know that's probably here's minnesota right here and california of course is the, is the is the largest the largest two numbers here so and then it tells you right in here <clears throat> um how many minutes the average people watch out of it and uh, and the, the amount of minutes that have been watched in that particular state. That's lifetime since I started it in 2010. So you can uh, look how many, so 247,000 hours have been watched in California, in California. 
So all the sets are here. Just I'm not showing that to break, just to show you how many lives you can touch all over uh, the country. And I just showed, uh, and the same thing is, these are all videos from there. So I, I had a couple of slides. You can find your state. I don't know where you are, guys, South or North Dakota here. But uh, if you go there, you should be able to see North Dakota. Do we have North Dakota? Here's your North Dakota here. So we have touched uh, this amount of views from you guys and, uh, and uh, this percentage of ours have been watched in North Dakota. That's great to see how many people you touched in, in, in Minnesota. Okay, so I'm going to go fast through these. Here is the total. This is the interesting stuff. This is how many people have watched, um, how many hours have been watched. 1.3 million hours have been watched. Um, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of, I'm sorry, minutes, not hours. I apologize. Yeah. I said hours, yeah, minutes, um, hours. And the views that have been watched in the US, hours. And I don't know if you guys can see, this is when I started, here's the daytime. I wasn't, at the beginning, I was experimenting in 2009. We started the launching right here and it, it just it, it, it went all the way with the views. So in 2010, 2011, this is when Dan was with me and I saw, I had my, my channel before that, but I was just there for show and tell, really. And then it launched it in 2010 when when then um you know needed all the help so you can see all the statistics this is from the united states and you can see what, what i get the kick out of it it's 52 states and region in the u.s i have views from 52 states of region so it, it's really yes we're coming to the international since we're in america of course we focus on the people in america first i'm coming to the international so that's uh, and you get a lot of feed i get a lot of questions from people all over the world it's overwhelming to the point i'm a registered engineer so i have to be careful what i tell the people i help a lot but uh, you know so there's certain people have no clue what they're doing and they need help and i ask them to go to a technical college i'm using also as a recruiting for us at Dunwoody to bring students i have people approach me and said what do you teach at so we can come to your classes. I have not quantified it yet to see how many people have came because of this channel. That's my next thing is see how can we use it for marketing. Okay, so that's the US. Then you go to the world. Um, believe it or not, half of my, uh, only half have been seen in the US, close to a half. Only half of this channel is seen there. More than half is seen all over the world. I have views from every single country and region in the world. So it's really nice that you, as a human being, obviously, I, you're touching the lives of people all over the world. You've got people from China asking questions, and India, Europe, all over. And here's all the countries that you can see. Believe it or not, the second country after the US is our friend in Saudi Arabia. Um, they have a lot of questions because they use the, the US system. And they ask a lot of technical questions, how to size certain things. So we're touching people from all over. There's Canada and um, Egypt and a bunch of other countries. So that's, um, I'm just putting the percentages here um, for all the whole world. And uh, here's all the minutes, how many minutes, not hours again, how many minutes have been watched. And um, all the countries, you can see how many, um, how many minutes have been watched and what the percentage and what your, your duration for each and every one of these, um, these countries. And I'm going to go all the way. You can uh, find other countries. So I thought just interesting to see the statistic and where people are coming from. Um, I have subscribers. Those are the views. The subscribers are from almost all the countries in the world have subscribers. Almost. Um, and then at the end, you have the, the statistics here. And this is the overall, like I said, 2.3 million minutes, not hours. And that's how many views. If you see the views are different, then it's... They always have issues with calculating the views. So sometimes the views are not, doesn't match. They're off by maybe a thousand views or something. So don't sweat it too hard. And there is 210 country and region have been viewed. So it really makes you feel good that you are making a difference in people's all over the world. Obviously, they're not paying my salary at Dunwoody, but <laughs> it's not cost me or Dunwoody anything. Keep in mind, it's really it's not meant to teach people in China. This is not meant to do that. But if it's a byproduct and we help somebody else in the world, so be it. So, yes. I'll, I'll work. Yeah. Absolutely. This is as of last night. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you with, with finding the information. Uh, no problem. You have Google, Gmail. If you have a Gmail, since the, uh, 
YouTube got bought by by Google. Uh, you are up. You can start with Gmail. You can start your YouTube channel. No problem. When I started the first uh, video, I bought was 15 minutes. Then I tried to put an hour. They rejected it. Somebody was reviewing it, and then they got back to me and they said, uh, "You're approved." <laughs> So, uh, and then that's it. So, but they rejected the first time I went more than 15 minutes. I remember that was four, that was 10 years ago though. Uh, not 10 years ago, that was in 2010. Um, so, because of time, yeah, the link. And then they reviewed it and they got back to me and they said, you are approved for more than 15 minutes now. And then I have right now the longest, like I said, uh, four hours and 18 minutes or 14 minutes, something like this. So that's the views. Uh, subscribers, you can see most of the subscribers are from the US, obviously, because we teach uh, in the US in English and all the stuff. The second is Saudi Arabia and Egypt and a bunch of other people. Those are the people who committed they like the channel more than just view it. And I have uh, views from all over here. Everything that you see right here um, is a YouTube channel. This is, for example, is a solar system that we did at Dalmaria. Steve, uh, uh, Lee, and I, we, we videotaped the whole thing and it's right, right in there. So. You can put also video tape if you want to, no problem. Video tape certain things if you want to do it, not a big deal. I use the recording because it's so easy. <laughs> Nobody have to sit there and watch you and zoom into you and what's not. Very very easy. Uh, but if you are doing something in the lab, I strongly encourage to have a camera. Um, just some one of your students will take a picture of you assembling a round ro uh, a, a wound rotor motor and just put it there. So. All these, like I said, on the right-hand side are views. Um, so this is um, this is how many views so far. And it might, like I said, it might be different. And you lose people and you gain people as it goes. And, and you can see how it started right here really in 2010, though it was in 2009 when I started, but it gives you a, um, and that day here, somehow I got a lot of views. I don't know what I was doing. 2013, it jumped all the way. And every time somebody subscribes to your channel, it, it sends you an email on Google that says, X have subscribed to your channel. So, okay. Um, any questions, guys, as we go through? I don't want to take to anybody has any questions. As we take questions as we go. Uh, yes, I'm going and I'm watching the, the clock too. About where there's legal, we're going to talk about legal ramifications and, and a lot of my experience at least with it. Yes, yes, you can merge videos and pictures together in any form. Um, I haven't done that a lot. I use a lot because it's easy. You know, remember, we're busy. We all have families. This is easy. You sit it right now. You, it, I'm recording. So I don't have to think twice about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, That's what the nice thing about it. It's in the background. You're not monkeying around. You do your business as is. And at the end, oops, your presentation is there. Yes, ma'am. Um, Where I you can be close to I'm loud if you're like so for me yeah if I'm within if I'm within uh, five feet away from my laptop it's uh, and it's good. But if you turn to write something up. If you write you can hear it. Sometimes you have to have headphones. Sometimes when they turn I have a smartphone. I turn like this, and you know sometimes it's hard. But uh, for the most part it hasn't been an issue. My smartboard is as close as this on so uh, the distance from my laptop. So um, likes and dislike, of course, we all like to be liked. So here's all the likes that you get. Um, here's all the dislike. There's some people who don't like what you do and you'll get some nasty emails. So be aware. Um, my, my idea is take the higher road and I will say thank you for your comments. And I had the guy, he said something inappropriate and you can record, you can report them and kick him out of your YouTube channel. So be aware if somebody says something inappropriate. Um, you block them and they cannot access with the same email your channel again. So be aware of that. So it's really it works really good. I didn't have a whole lot. I only have one guy that I blocked, you know, in the last four years. So okay, now let's get into the stuff. Public. When you load them, here's what you're gonna get. Either public. Public means anywhere in the world you can see it. Open. Most of my videos are public. So that's my public. Then private. Um, obviously, if there are certain classes dear to our hearts, and we don't want the people to have to it. And you only have, like, I have a class. This class, you can see with the with the public. It's, you see this symbol here. Can you see that? That's public. 
this symbol says that you're making money out of this. I want to talk about making money in a second here, tell you what you what you should do with the money. Um, so <laughs> we're coming to that one, but this is the symbol that you get for the public. So this is public. This can be seen anywhere in the world. This one is actually, um, um, I was hiking in my hometown. I grew up in a small town called Borham in Jerusalem area. And that's that's this is called unlisted. Unlisted means people can't see it. It would not show up on on, on uh, research and uh, if you search it, but you can send it to your friends and they look at your uh, hiking. It's, this is the only non-technical that I put there, <laughs> just for the record. <clears throat> and I use unlisted just to try the unlisted. Uh, then there's the private. The private, I have four videos right now. One of them, it looks like this private. Private means, this is, by the way, look at this. This is the longest, uh, four hours and 30 minutes. This is, um, in the state of Minnesota, we license people as master and journeyman and power limited technician. This is a class that I teach for MEA, and it's uh, 16 hours. They pay a lot of money, $500, and obviously they don't want to put it for free um, because they don't give a degree. They just go take the test after they take it. So this is private. So if you take the class with MEA, I will give you, uh, authorize you, give you with the Gmail access to it for a certain amount of time. That's something that you can do um, if something dear to your heart and you don't want to give it for free. Uh, I do everything on my laptop. Okay. On. As far as them being able to view that video for three days. They will get yeah yes they there's a location. I'll show you when we have time. We do we have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, there's a location where you can actually put their email in. And you have to keep the time though. The time frame you have to keep an eye on the time frame. Yeah, yeah. There's no, say one month. I put them there. Write their names on a place where I can find it. And yes, and you put yeah. But there's no place where you click to give them a 30 days. You have to keep track of the time yourself. Yes, up to my knowledge anyway. So then your options. Um, I'm going to talk about monetized versus non-monetized. You can make money out of these videos, or you you opted not to make money. If you make money, Google will send you. Um, you have to W2, so you have to do W2 and everything else, and you get it. Um, it it's it's a job basically, and you pay taxes on it. <laughs> so be aware, this is not under the table, and I'll share I'll share with you uh, my experience there. <laughs> So uh, most of, at the beginning, my videos were not monetized. I monetize it, and I'll tell you why at one time. Then um, you can non-monetize it. Just send it there and say, I don't want to make money out of it. If you make money out of it, if you want to make money out of it, you'll be very careful with the copyright issue. Uh, I'll share with you about the copyright issues. Most of my videos, I create them on my smart board. So really, I did them, my work. Uh, but I do a lot of um, Dilmar PowerPoint presentation there. So before I put them there, I contacted Dilmar and said, here's what I'm doing. And I showed them one of my videos, and this is going to go all over the world. What do you guys think? Took him a week. They got back to me, and they said, that's great. Can you just give us a credit for it so they can buy the books? I wrote on my board that these are the textbooks that I use. And my understanding is actually it creates the sale of their books. So they were very happy with that. As long as people, I don't give books away. I don't give material. Um, so they were, Delmar is almost all the stuff that I do, PowerPoint presentation from Delmar. I did one presentation though with I, uh, International Association with Electrical Inspector. I don't know if anybody familiar with them, the electrician. Um, I put 16 hours of their training. That was for MEA. Six months later, their lawyer got back to me. I was contacted by the lawyer, and so she said, Mr. Kurdi, it came to our attention that you are you are using unauthorized use of our property. So obviously, you don't want to mess with that one. So I sent her an email. I told her who I am and what do I do and what my goal goal is, and um, and uh, and uh, and I would like to get permission to use their property. Got back to me. Said we'll get back to you. Within a week, got back to me, and she said, Mr. Kurdi, we do not want you to use this. And I said, I will immediately delete them. When they're pip pip pip, delete all of them. Done. So that when you're talking to use material, you're actually your power. The, I was using the PowerPoint presentation, their PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. Uh, same thing with N, uh, NFBA, the 70E. They have no problem with it as because the people, the National Electric Code, that's, uh, you know, it's almost public. It's a law. So that's my experience. You're going to be very careful. If they ask you to remove certain things, you are to remove it or ask for permission to use it. Do the I, uh, International Association of Electric Inspectors are the only entity that got back and they asked me to remove these 16 hours. And I did remove them and thank them too. 
You know, so you don't want to miss. Other than that, you contact the people before you put their stuff. And me, I put some of their Mia stuff too there, that their property they own, they put together and they paid people and uh, and they have no problem with that. It's advertisement for them. So I know we're watching the clock here uh, a lot. So we have we have time. Any other questions, guys, before I move into the the earning? So um, when you monetize to date, here's, and I'm sure, I know this is a private, but I'm sharing with you, I'll tell you why I'm sharing you. To date, I made $1,100 out of this channel. I monetized it only, only in 2012. Before that, it was all been non-monetized. Um, now, we all, obviously, we have ethical, ethical issues to do. What are you going to do with this money? And I was like you, all of you, I was faced with, what am I going to do with this money? This is... Uh, I, I did it. I did the work. It doesn't cost me a lot. Uh, on, buy, a buy, buy a boat. <laughs> this is one way of buying. And this is, I'm sharing this probably for the first time. And you can see the time frame that you do a lifetime. Uh, granted, I think it averages, if for mine, it will average probably $800 a year. Because I only did it monetize in one year. Um, they, I don't know they do it. If, if the, hit, the hit in America is more expensive than the hit in China. <laughs> so, so... Yes, it depends upon the location, my understanding. And I really don't know the, the I, you know, I don't know the details of how they pay you. But so that's kind of, you can see when I started right here. This is when I started monetizing in 2012, 919, 9, 2012, when I started the first monetizing. So all this was open to the public. And the reason why I did this one, um, so that's that you can see, you can make money out of them, but be careful when you make money, what you're going to be doing with this money. So, um, and I'm, what I'm going to show you is a private, but not really for bragging or anything else. So, um, at Dunwoody, um, this is my mom. So, I started in 2007. I started a scholarship at Dunwoody, $1,000 scholarship. That was in 2007. It ran from 2007 until 2013, $1,000 before I started YouTube. Then things, I have three kids, and things got uh, tough a little bit. So, I thought, okay, what if we can use YouTube channel? And I can generate the money I can do, and I can create a scholarship. I can fund my scholarship. So that came really great in 2000. That was what happened in 2012. And that's, um, so um, I stopped. This is almost for six years. I ran that scholarship. Um, this is Naima Purdy, my scholarship memorial. And this year, I actually gave the money to BZU Jerusalem. This is a university I, I went there. I created the scholarship there. I give a scholarship to a student there. So what I suggest for all of us, I think we're paid, I believe we're paid good. I mean, we're, and this is money for my students. And every, I don't feel good about taking this money personally. So that's what I did with mine. I encourage all of you, I don't know, not a boat, <laughs> not enough to do a boat. But uh, those are the students. This is my wife, Kimberly. And those are the students at Dunwoody, Dunwoody students. These one, two, three here that cut the scholarship over the years. I don't have pictures of the others. Um, so that's what I decided to do with the scholarship, and it was great to be able to take that money out of my budget and put it in YouTube. Really great, great opportunity. So, <laughs> so that's kind of um, um, all what I have for you guys. Any questions? Any, any comments? Questions? I have 36. I can take you. I showed you. We can go to YouTube too. It's all the stuff I took it from YouTube. Um, yes. 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 <clears throat> so what they do, and again, I apologize if you see some things that's inappropriate when you go to the channel, I, because sometimes when you monetize, you don't know what you're going to get. Wives in China or some stuff. So I really apologize. Here's um here's a typical, and I put a lot of stuff. Here's a typical, for example, um, video when you when you open it, and you guys can go there. All what you have to do is just uh, Chad Curdy, T U R D I, and you'll find the channel. I don't know if it's going to fire fast enough here. Oops, web page is not available. I don't know if we got kicked. Um, yeah, yeah, I see. You have to activate again. Yeah, ouch, ouch! I didn't mean to do that. That's what I always took that thing down. Um, so really, you guys can, you know, how it, it you know. So I don't know where my yeah. Anyway, so I don't we don't have a whole lot of time to do it, but um any other questions guys about um how do you see the whole list? 
Um, um, the nicest thing in YouTube, if you're familiar with YouTube, there is I have um, less um, playlist. And I listed, look, if you're looking for grounding and bonding, you will find 25 videos about grounding and bonding. You go to grounding and bonding, uh, less, and you'll find everything about grounding and bonding. If you're looking for Revit, Revit um, MEP 2012, I have a lot of uh, presentation about that. Um, under drafting, and you'll find all the CAD and the Revit classes. So I put them under drafting, grounding and bonding, over competition device, certain topics in the electrical industry. Um, and the best thing to search, I tell the people since like 620 some videos, a lot of videos. So I say search by, uh, when you when you put your videos, I don't know if you're familiar, you put keywords. So to describe that project, for example, if the project is about panels, make sure in the keyword put panels. So when people are searching in your YouTube or other YouTubes, it will show all the videos that have the word panels or talk about panels. So it's really, I tell the people when you use you use a uh, search. So if you know anything about motors, type motors in the search and it shows all the videos that you want about motors. That's actually a really important piece of the process. Because there's no way that you can draw from what you know, that's one thing that's not out there. Yeah, yes, yeah. I mean, you have to, yes. Or you can just go, there's a, there's a, a playlist called Electrical Fundamentals. There is close to 30 hours about electrical fundamentals, barrel series circuit and combination, and all this good stuff. You can go there, and they're three hours. They're not five minutes, 10 minutes. Each one of them is three hours. Um, and, and then you can watch three hours about, um, you know, parallel series circuit. It's under electrical fundamentals. Any comments, guys, any questions? If anybody's interested, all what you need to do to do this is a smart board, and it comes with a smart note with it, and you can record it. By the way, you don't have to be done. You can be anywhere. And record it. I'm recording it right now. So it's really a great way of sharing what your knowledge and making a good cause out of it too. So yes, I claim this on my taxes, believe me. <laughs> they I give them a social you give them your social security number, uh, your address, and they verify that you who you are who you are. Um, and believe me, they have a lot of ways of verifying who you are, and I have to give them social security, yes. And it goes into your and you get a W-2, um, yep, it's an income. It's a legit business, yes. You, they wouldn't send you a check when it, and, and, and like this year, I got my I got it on my taxes. So I, I filed I, uh, the $1,000 on my taxes, you claim. Every, uh, how do they send? Every time your hits, um, every time you accumulated $100 or more, they send you a check. They don't send it every $5. They keep adding it until it reaches $100 is their cutoff. 100 or more. Uh, the, every every 100, I think they have a period. When you hit the 100, within that pay period, they'll send it to you. But you, they, don't, they wouldn't send anything less than 100 in that particular pay period, which is like a month or two. So, But uh, they don't pay a lot, but enough to, like I said, start a scholarship or something like that. Any question, guys, if you need any help? Again, I'm Chad Curdy. You can drop me an email. be more than happy. Yes, sir. I'm just curious. I use YouTube for my own knowledge too. I have favorite. When you have a two YouTube channel, you, there's a place where it says favorite. For example, if I find a video that I like for my own students, I put it in my favorite, and then I show. I and I did. I show it to my students in the class. So I use that. You add it to your favorite. Other people's videos. Any questions, guys? Any? I hope uh, it was interesting a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I can send you a little, yeah, yeah. I, um, I have, um, I, I don't know if you were here when we started, but these are these are the classes that I go right here. And, but these are general classes. So here's a, uh, uh, each electrical, so, so basically anything electrical, anything electrical you find, it. but these are the typical classes though. And I, and then another list of classes right here, electrical fundamental, electrical machine and control exam. Yes. Yeah.
Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's going to be on YouTube, so you'll. Uh, I can give you the presentation to send you the presentation if it's uh, if it's interesting. I might have to remove my mom's picture though, <laughs> just because of the privacy stuff. So, yeah, thank you. I'll give you my business card. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope. Yeah, good. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Oops, the other way. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks. Hi. Uh, my ancestors are. Yes. Did you? Okay. Yeah. But, but let me let me just close that one here so I can download. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let me just so I can download my. Okay. Here you go. Hold.